Hey guys, Pangelis here from Hodges Real Estate. Here I am joining you all from our office. Um, we are back to stage three restrictions, which is a little bit frustrating uh, for everyone in Victoria, um, but we just have to have the mentality that we've been there, we've done that. We just now have to be even stronger and uh, get out of this. I mean, good news is that as agents, we can have one-on-one -on -one inspections, but there are no more open for inspections. Um, as well as public auctions are not allowed. And uh, we are doing the uh, digital or virtual auctions, um, which my colleague, Mark Kosh, was very successful over the weekend, actually ended up selling uh, 7 Boston Avenue in Seaford um, with five registered bidders. Um, and so that was really successful for us. So uh, there was an active weekend um, in Cheltenham because we are still seeing stock levels are quite low and there are more buyers out there than what there are properties. So um, for anyone that thinks that this is slowing down the market, look, it definitely isn't. We are doing the one-on-one -on -one appointments. So uh, give us a call because you're not going to see, uh, obviously, the open for inspections advertised. Um, so the first result, as reported by the ROV for all agencies, um, was 6-217 Charman Road in Cheltenham. That was a two-bedroom unit and ended up selling an auction for $723,500. 1-12 Janus Avenue in Cheltenham, front one of two, was a two bedroom there um, and that ended up selling for 667,000 privately. Um, if you do recall the auction, we had at 10 slash 94 to 96 Kavanagh Street in Cheltenham, the two bedroom unit there in that block that are passing in, but we did end up selling it the following week, uh, ended up selling for 540,000. And on the back of that, there was one that we sold off market. Um, congratulations to Angus Graham, my colleague, from Sandringham, uh, who ended up selling number 13, slash 94 to 96 Kavanagh Street, ended up selling for 550,000. So guys, like I said, a lot of stock, and um, sorry, a lot of buyers out there, um, and limited amount of stock. So it's, look, it's a perfect, I guess, time to list. I do imagine after the six weeks in lockdown, there's gonna be a lot of stock coming onto the market. So if you are a vendor that is obviously preparing your property, or you are ready, and you're considering your options, a little bit of uncertainty, there's no reason why you can't start your campaign now because we are doing the one-on-one -on -one inspections. And look, I guess on a personal note, um, I guess it, it, it is very unfortunate for me to announce that uh, if, if you do remember Nelson Machuca, who uh, was a close member of the Hodges family, ended up passing away a couple of days ago in a tragic motorcycle accident. Um, I guess for me, he was a dear friend and uh, I did start my real estate career with him, set the foundations for everything that I know. I worked with him for, for two years, came across to the Mentone office as well and worked with us. Um, he was a loved director of the Hodges brand and um, we will forever remember him. And we send our love to his family, Marjorie, um, as well as Giselle, his two girls, and um, Gabriella. So if you did know Nelson, please send your love to the family and, and support them through this difficult time. Um, there will be a funeral that is just to be announced, um, but obviously restricted to 10 people. So I imagine there'll be something on the online platform to come. So uh, well, thank you for joining me guys. And yeah, I dedicate this, this, this week's Cheltenham Wrap obviously to, to Nelson and, and his family. So thank you for joining me and I, I look forward to uh, seeing you all next week.